Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to IG Likes. And this week, I'm liking this week. This I'm liking everything about this week. It's E3 and WWDC. So first off, I went to Microsoft's E3 briefing this morning for the Xbox One and it was pretty unreal. There were so many people lined up around the Galen Center. The traffic was insane. By the time we actually got in line and into our seats, it really didn't take as long as I thought it was going to be. Either way, they showed off a few of their exclusive titles for the Xbox One and they didn't really give us any more details on the actual console itself. Most of the info that we do know about the Xbox One was already revealed at their Xbox reveal a few weeks ago. But the one most important thing that everyone wanted to know was how much is this and when is it out. Now they didn't give us an exact date, but the price will be $4.99 and when I pre-ordered on Amazon, it said it would be here December 4th, so I'm assuming that may be it. Hopefully it's sooner. A few of those exclusive Xbox titles that I'm looking forward to most definitely is the new Halo. Titanfall. Ports of 5, and I don't even like racing games, but this looked freaking awesome. Quantum Break looked... I actually got chills when they started playing the trailer. Dead Rising 3, and look, I love zombies, I love killing zombies, I love being attacked by zombies, so count me in. And don't worry, for those Minecraft fans, there will be an Xbox One Minecraft. There's no mention of Call of Duty, but yesterday I hosted with Jeff Keighley, Mark Rubin, and Eric Hirschberg an exclusive Xbox reveal of Call of Duty Ghosts. We showed some gameplay of a few levels and also a sneak peek of the E3 booth, which looks just unreal. Another thing that kind of took me by surprise, the first thing that they announced was a new Xbox 360, redesigned to match the Xbox One. I think I'm just gonna save my money for the One. Yeah. Now, all the while all this Microsoft stuff was happening, Apple was having their WWDC keynote at the same exact time, and I was going crazy. I'm like reading tweets, and you guys were sending me minute by minute updates. Actually, it was more like second by second updates, so thank you to everyone who tweeted me. One of the things I was actually kind of excited about is I love my old MacBook Air, but the battery life on this thing just, it's, it's essentially it's just terrible. So, with their new line of MacBook Airs, they ensured us all day battery life. I'm going to be the judge if this all day battery life is really all day, especially if you're editing and doing editing anything processor intensive, all day really means maybe two hours. Another huge announcement was the new Mac Pro Towers, which is pictured here, which kind of looks like a black R2-D2, or as most of the internet is saying, a trash can. It's in this crazy cylinder design and, well, definitely looks like a trash can. And here's the old massive Mac Pro Towers that we all have grown to love and hate because it's so heavy. This thing can seriously kill a person if you were to drop it on them. So don't drop this on somebody. I know Apple usually likes to do their iPad or iPhone announcements separately, but I was hoping that there was just a, maybe a little one more thing like Steve used to do. But those days are long gone. The new iOS 7 will be out this fall and it's said to work beautifully. Whatever that means. While the keynote was going on, the first screenshot that popped up, I actually thought it was a comparison to the Windows Phone because that font is very similar. There's also a lot of other similarities that people have been <laughs> pointing out on the internet that Apple will seem to have borrowed from other places. Oops. They ensured us better battery life while multitasking, and also Safari has a new little update. We can finally have tabs. Finally. Finally. They also announced AirDrop, which will allow you to do peer-to-peer -peer file transfers, which is kind of exciting. I'm hoping that I'll be able to transfer between my iPhone and iPad, because I'm always using Evernote to share photos, because it's so much easier. Another surprise came to me when I found out that Siri could now be a man, and they've also made the default search to Bing. I'm really hoping that they update Siri, man, or woman Siri, with some fantastically new, small smart-ass comments when I ask her things. Him things. Like, Siri, where can I hide a dead body after I've dropped a huge Mac Pro tower on it? What kind of place are you looking for? 
Funeral services, swamps, cremation services, mines, dumps, reservoirs, mortuaries, or metal foundries. I'm going to call the cops now. I don't see the cops in your address book. Should I look for businesses by that name? More to come from this week at E3. I'll probably be vining and Instagramming and tweeting and all that fun stuff because it's much easier than shooting a video and editing it. Also, a new episode of my Hardwired show just went up this past week, so check it out. It features a wine dress. A dress made of wine. In celebration of E3 Week and Hardwired, we're going to be giving you guys a chance to win an Xbox 360. It'll be on AOL's Facebook page, so check the description for all of the links and details on how to win, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. Peace.